Here's your breakfast, honey. What the goddamn hell is going on? Are you running some kind of luxury resort for every flea-bitten parasite that trips across my doorstep? What's that dog eating? A steak? These are my friends. Must be costing a fortune. I can't believe I worked 47 years just to shell out for every mangy cat and dog that's hungry enough to be your friend just because you feed it. They keep me company. They're all I've got. Now, what the hell is that supposed to mean? All right, so I've been a little busy the last 47 years. I just didn't have time to sit and gap with you night and day. I had a living to earn. Now, 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 now. It isn't that important. Just eat your breakfast. Ah, 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 ah. Feed it, you freeloader! Get away from my car, damn you! Ah. Anyone down here? Jonas? Jonas, it's me, Roy. Hey, Roy, buddy. How you doing, neighbor? Anita tells me you're retired. I saw your car outside, and it had me going for a while. I figured either you're sick, which I've never seen you get, or your car broke down. One or the other. Retirement just never occurred to me. Sounds like you've been doing a lot of thinking about this. Better run to the newspapers. Inquiring minds will want to know. <laughs> Say, now that you've got plenty of time on your hands, I thought you might like to try one of these. Terrific, Roy, and really terrific. But I've got real work to do, Roy. Pruning. Like a jungle out there. There's no shortage of things to be done around this place. That's just fine. I'd go nuts with nothing to do. I'm not going to be one of those geezers that just sits on the porch waving at cars. Well, to each his own, I always say. <laughs> well, look who's back. <laughs> hey, beat it, you mangy mutt. Oh. God, hold his brass tacks. Tell you, I'm worried about Anita, Roy. She's obsessed with animals. I don't like to air our dirty laundry out. I think she needs help. Now, by the way, uh, I'd appreciate it if you uh, didn't spread that around. Well, she's been that way since anybody in the neighborhood could remember. It's funny you wouldn't know. I seen her sitting on the green with a squirrel perch right on the top of her head. And it was like she was talking to him. Squirrels? God, that's disgusting. Tree rats, that's all they are. And birds. You should see her with the birds. Not healthy, Roy. Driving me crazy. Well, you shouldn't let all these things bother you so much. Retirement takes some adjustment. Maybe you ought to try that model plane I brought you. Or if you don't like it, you can find yourself another hobby. It's not for me, Roy. I say hobbies are just a waste of time. I'd say you about got it. It's so nice to have a man around the house to take care of. What the hell is this crap? It's tuna. It's good for you. Where'd you get this from? I got it out of the cupboard. Looked all right to me. Where is it? Let me see his pants. Nita, this is cat food. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. This is just too much. Jonas, oh, where have you been? Come here, boy. Jonas? You named this dog Jonas? I'm sorry. Well, he reminded me of you. I mean... Don't ruin it with an apology. And I'm flattered. Honored, in fact. Why don't you just invite him in? 
have him sit down at the table. I think we have a sandwich already made for him. The spirit of Elvis is in the body of her Doberman Pinscher, claims Addie Leaflert of Doberman, <laughs> Iowa. The dog Ooh, that has the sounds bad. Elvis curl of the lip. That's nothing. It it must be coming down with a little cold. Circles whenever hound dogs I'm not so play. sure. It sounds like a hairball to me. A hairball? Oh, God, you're unbelievable. She's a cold. I'm getting a headache. Like you think you could please get me some aspirin? Oh, sure. I think I have some in the kitchen. Cougars, originally thought to be scavenging food left by homeless drifters, are now verified as feeding on the homeless themselves. I brought you a little treat. A brownie? I asked for aspirin. What was in that? Your aspirin. I put it in the brownie for you. God damn it, Anita. I'm not like your dogs or your cats. You don't have to put my medicine in food. I am not an animal. I am a human being. I brought you the B-1 bomber this time. Hey, thanks. Can't wait to get at it. Uh, listen, old buddy. I know how this must look. But for me, these models, well, it's not just about building planes. You want to slow up a bit. Let life pass you by a little. Well, when you start letting life pass you by, that's the day you start to die. No, I, I, I don't need to slow down. You know what Anita did last night? She gave me medicine like you would a dog. I mean, I'm not her husband. I'm like one of the pets. Have you talked to her about this? She may not be used to having you around the house all day. Well, I don't know. Well, maybe you're right. Oh. I guess I could be partly to blame. I think you two ought to sit down and have a nice, long talk. I've been so wrapped up in my own problems, I couldn't see that you had problems, too. I'm sorry. I really am, but... Well, that's all in the past now. We can make a brand new start. We'll be the way we used to be. I'll rub your stomach and you can lick the back of my leg. I thought you might be thirsty. Nah. Well, I'll just set it down on the table here for you. If you need anything, I'll be cleaning out the fish tanks. You miserable! Mm. 